Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing yet another Shop My Stash video. So it's been about two weeks since I last posted my other video and I have picked up quite a lot of new makeup that I really wanted to try out. I used this blush once the other day and I just didn't really love how it looked on me. I think that the color is just a little bit too light for what I've typically been going for. So I am just going to take that out. Then I have two concealers in here. I am going to keep the Glossier one in G11, but I'm going to take out the Maybelline Age Rewind. You can see I've used it quite a bit and I've also been using the Glossier quite a bit, but I do really like that one for more natural days. So I'm going to keep the Glossier, but I'm going to put back the Maybelline. So that's everything in here. Then as far as lip products go, I feel like I'm not going to change too much. I'm going to take them out one at a time, but this is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. You can see mine is really getting there. I do not have much left and I have been obsessed with this, so that is definitely going to stay put in there. And then I have this here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I wore this like maybe two times and I actually am going to wear it today and I would like to get more use out of it, so I'm going to keep that in here. Then I have the Huda Beauty Silk Balm in the shade Blush, and I've really been liking this also, and I kind of want to keep using it, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have these two here from Tarte. I have this in the shade Holiday Spritz. It's one of their Maracuja Juicy Lips, but this was a limited edition shade. And then this one in Strawberry. I actually didn't really use these much at all, just because I've really been using some of my other stuff. But I think I am just going to put this back for now. And then the last lip product we have in here is this lip liner here from charlotte tilbury this is in the shade uh, pillow talk 2 medium and i am definitely going to keep this these like all together even just like mixed all together whichever which way i really really like that combination so i'm definitely going to keep those in here oh and then i have over here two of these little palettes i have my pat mcgrath one this is in the shade galactic sun it's one of their trios i'm definitely going to keep it it's really easy to just like store on the side so i like keeping it up here and i do reach for it quite a bit and then i have this nars duo in the shade laguna and orgasm this one i am going to put back i have i did get quite a bit of use out of it actually but i'm just going to try out some other stuff for now so all we're putting back is just these four things for now and then including my lip products so nothing too crazy. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to go through my mascaras and stuff like that because I don't have a ton. Like I do have a, another section where I have some other stuff, but I like to just sort of rotate through what I have. And I don't really have many brow products. Like I literally have two eyebrow pencils. So there's not too much rotating going on, but let me know if you do want me to actually like go through everything that I am keeping in here. But I guess what we're going to do now is go into the second drawer over here. So this drawer over here contains all of the new stuff that I purchased. A lot of it doesn't even like go in here just because I wanted to remember to use it. But we have quite a couple of things that I want to pull. So I have this bronzer here from Mented that I really wanted to pull. This is a more of like a warm toned kind of shade. So I want to pull that as my warm toned one. And then I also think for a more cool toned bronzer, I want to pull the Hula. So these are the two bronzers that I'm going to take. Then I also have this blush here from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Nearly Neutral, and this is a cream blush from them. It is so, so pretty. Just picked that up, and I really want to try it out. And then I have another blush. This is the Elf Putty Blush in the shade Bali, which is really gorgeous. It looks very dark in here, but I did swatch it in my Ulta haul video and it wasn't too crazy so I really want to try that one out as well. I think that would go really well actually with the Pat McGrath powder blush that I have. So I'll have those for my blush. Then I have this from Undone Beauty. This is their 4-in-1 highlighting palette, the 1 in 5 60. So I would like to give this a try. Hopefully it fits in my drawer standing up. I'm not sure if it will but if not we'll figure it out. But I really do want to try this out. The colors in here look beautiful, specifically these two up here, and then these for some more fun type of looks, but they look super metallic, so definitely want to pull that. And then I think I do want to pull actually another highlighter, so I'm going to go with this Natasha Denona Super Glow. This is in the shade... 02 light medium and it is so pretty so I definitely want to pull that. I almost pulled it last time and then I ended up choosing a different one so 
definitely going to pull the Natasha Denona. Then I have two concealers here that I really want to add in. So I have this one here from NYX. This is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade Fair. And I think that this looks so, so pretty. And I definitely want to try that one out. And then I also have this here from NARS. This is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 1.25 Affogato. And this one, let me take out of the box so that I can add it in. This is so cute. I love the packaging on it. Again, very similar to like that Glossier, but I feel like something like this is perfect for just spot concealing and the color, like I swatched it on myself at the store. If you want to check out me picking out this product and the Rare Beauty one, check out my Shop With Me video where I picked this out. But the swatch of it just seemed like it blended perfectly into my skin. So I definitely want to try that one out as well. Then randomly, I also have a pair of lashes that I want to test out. These are the Ardell Eco Lashes in the style 453. I think it doesn't have a name or anything, but it's just like a really soft sort of lightweight pair of lashes that look really pretty. And I've been wanting to try out like using more lashes, so definitely going to put these in. I don't know if I'm going to put them into my everyday drawer, but I'm definitely going to plan on using these a couple of times, probably in an upcoming video where I test some of my new Ulta products. But yeah, I definitely want to use those. I think I am just going to leave it in here for now just because I don't want to forget about it. And then I also have this here from Huda Beauty. This is another one of the legit lashes mascaras. Mine is actually all dried out. I only managed to get like a couple more days worth out of it. But now I can take out the old one that's all like dried up and gross and crusty and I can put in my new one. So I'm going to add that in and I'm going to put this one into my empties. So I think I'm going to start off with just putting everything in and then sort of like seeing where we're at. So I'm going to put this, this, that. And then my Rare Beauty blush. All right, so the powder not fit. That's fine. Um, I'll put the powder here, the concealer here, my other concealer, and my last concealer. So I think everything is fitting pretty well. Oh, I do have another highlight, which I might be able to squeeze. So I think we're looking pretty good, right? We have my complexion products, my powder. We have some bronzer, some blush, highlighter. Yeah, a little palette. And then I guess we'll go in with some lips. Oh wait, this does not fit. This super glow does not fit. Let me put it down that way. Okay, perfect. Oh wait. Oh no, now this doesn't fit. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Okay, let me, let me figure this out. Give me one second. Okay, so this is just gonna kind of have to live over here so that way it can be angled a little bit. But now what we're gonna do is just check out some of my lip products, I think. So we'll go down in one more drawer, and I definitely want to add in this clear gloss here from Stila. Actually, I feel like I'm not going to use this over my Huda, so I'm going to wait till the time that I don't have the Huda in. But I am going to add in this Mented Lala lip pencil, and this is so pretty. I actually think I'm going to wear this today. I love it. I think the color is beautiful, so I definitely want to add that in. And then maybe we'll pick, like, one more thing, you know? I think we might just leave it at that because I don't think I'm going to reach for anything over it. So I'm just adding in that Lala pencil. But I think that is it for now. I have a couple of stuff like primers and stuff out on my desk, which I'll just show you really quick. So this is the stuff that I have like on the top of my desk. I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Primer, which I'm trying out today for the first time. Then I have this NYX Plump Right Back. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. I have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I have this Hollywood Airbrush Flawless Finishing Spray as my setting spray. And then I also have this Hollywood Flawless Filter um, in the shade Fair 2. So these are like my primer sunscreen setting spray spray that I use that is not in the drawer. And then if I do ever like decide to wear foundation, I usually have been going with this Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint and that's all I've been pretty much using for foundation. The only other one that I have out is this one here from Giorgio Armani, the Luminous Silk Foundation in 4.5, but I haven't worn this in forever. I've really only been wearing concealer all over my face and then a little bit of this Glossier if I am wearing foundation. Oh, and I also forgot this. This is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Pre-Filter thing. I only have a very little bit of that primer left, so I've been using that, but it's almost all out. But I think now what we're going to do is just put back everything that we took out and I'm just going to kind of squeeze things in 
wherever I can kind of fit them. Ooh, I don't really have anywhere for this. Okay, it'll go there. And my blush and this we can we'll take out mm, what's thinner. I don't really know where to put everything. I think another declutter is gonna have to happen soon because I really don't know what, what to do with everything. It's not all fitting. Oh, I also have this Bobbi Brown cream blush. But I have a bunch of other cream blushes, so maybe I'll pull this again next time. It's so pretty. This is in the shade powder pink. But that's that. And then my this I just have to throw into my other drawer that has like my complexion products. Oh, what am I doing? I'm also forgetting this stuff here, which I really don't have anywhere to put. So definitely a declutter is going to have to come soon. And I just need to throw these, oops, lip products back in here. So that is it for today's Shop My Stash video. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if there was any products you saw in my drawer that you want me to put in for it for my next rotation. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.